Steam mm. Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Well, it's time for this week's Steam Series. Our focus, science. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal introduces us to a woman who flies high to keep airways open. The call comes in. A patient can't breathe and needs to rush to a hospital that offers a higher level of care. We leave out the door at the drop of a dime. Monique Stefani divides her time between the bedside and hospitals, ambulances, airplanes, and choppers. So I'm a transport respiratory care practitioner. Monique is a respiratory therapist who specializes in keeping children breathing, especially those who need to be moved. We're basically a mobile ICU. My role includes taking vitals, making sure patients are breathing on the appropriate ventilator settings if they're intubated. When not working transport, Monique keeps airways open at an Orange County Children's Hospital. Until last March, she mostly cared for babies born too soon and children with lung diseases like asthma and cystic fibrosis. But in the past few weeks, since the latest COVID surge. My job has changed. Patients are sicker. The amount of PPE that we're using has gone up exponentially. And because of the COVID crush on hospitals throughout SoCal. We're taking care of older patients and we would normally take care of patients who are anywhere up to 29, 30 years old. Monique has been witness to once unthinkable ICU wait times. A patient can wait for a bed for anywhere from two days to a couple of weeks. While patients wait in the emergency room, respiratory therapists are often at their side. We're running life support machines, also known as ventilators. We're running ECMO pumps. Of all the STEAM disciplines, respiratory therapists rely most on science, with every medication given. Knowing how it affects their heart, their circulation, their lungs. Monique found her calling 20 years ago through an ad in the Penny Saver. After two years of training, she went to work in a hospital. She has since gone on to get her bachelor's degree, then master's. Monique now trains other RTs, despite the stress and the risks. I love my job. Respiratory therapists are often the silent heroes in the hospital. We are there in every single code blue in the hospital. We are there for your neonates, your babies when they're born, when your grandparents are in their most critical stages of life. Monique's advice to young people and old, for now it's enough to protect yourself and your bubble. Wear your mask, wash your hands, please wash your hands. That doesn't go away just because we're wearing masks. For more on STEAM careers, just go to kcal9.com slash STEAM.